Welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight, I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Ghost Space. Normal song. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, you know what? I'll start, because it's going to be brief. Um, I played tonight. I um, was going to originally play Agents, because my core finally arrived. Um, what I neglected to do was bring all the cards that I actually needed to bring. Um, left two very important link monsters at home. Um, actually, someone was meant to bring my third and they didn't come, so even if I'd bought those, I wouldn't have been able to play it anyway. So, ended up for the best. Uh, played Brenda Desper instead because it was ready to go. Um, and came second. Um, did really well over the course of the night. Uh, and then in the third game of the final round, I just didn't open enough outs to what was on board. And uh, yeah, Flunder did Flunder things. Hard to do. Yeah. You did not attend States because you were sick. I was going to bring up a whole thing about States. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be brief on that and then we'll touch back later. No, 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 because I have a rant. Okay. Ooh. Love a good rant. I don't rant. know what Jake has a rant about. I brought it up in the chat, so you should have read it. Blake! I don't read uh, shit. I did, uh, I did some testing. I helped a couple of people with some lists for States. Did a lot of testing against decks I haven't played against or played with in years. Boy, I haven't touched Strikers in years. It's a funny deck. Um, we'll get on to that soon Yeah, too. we will. Uh, and then, yeah, I did I did a bunch of testing for States, which I did not end up going to because I was required to go compete in other shit. So I was like, well, it's out. Required to go compete in other shit? Yeah. What shit? Sport. Netball. Yeah. What a nerd. Yeah, rah. You know what be? So Netball's... No, not going to say that. <laughs> not going to say that. Netball's free. I man. love... Why all... were you playing Netball? I wasn't playing Netball. I just I, threw I, out I like sport. All, I like <laughs> I all like... genders. Netball is so basic. <laughs> I got him! Yay, we got him! <laughs> Cowboy for game cancelled. What? But other than that, Yu Gi Oh related wise, I also touched on some Arsenal as well, just to like have a dabble, see what was going on, see what was the happenings. And I was like, wow. Anyway. <laughs> I thought you said something related to Ars. I was like, what? I, I, you said Master Duel and I was Ars. I was like, mate, are you okay? No, he's not. Let's hear more about what's, it. What's a, what's a Yu-Gi-Oh card with a thick ass? We'll discuss that in the YP Clifford podcast. Towers. No Clifford Towers. He had Clifford Towers on the mind. Um, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh was fine. Uh, I went to States. We'll talk about that later. I didn't go so well. It was fine. I pulled my deck for a very specific kind of dynamic and saw the exact fucking opposite at the start of the day and I was like, cool. Um... Tonight, though, I literally showed up, so at, like, 4 o'clock, I messaged Blake, being like, I'm gonna do it. Hey, I have this deck idea, and Blake's like, uh, normally a Blake, a Blake, uh, is like, that's a bad idea, I'm just (laughs) nice to say that's a bad idea. Um, No, it was funny. Yeah, so, I got home at, like, 5 past 6, local starts at 7, and I just built this deck as quickly as I could. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just went... Everything goes into the pile. Pile is complete. Let's duel. Um, so I played Floundery's Go First Control. So it's a, it was effectively Floundery's with no hand traps. All of them removed. Uh, they were replaced with... That's a lot of money to be paying someone. Um, nah. Counter offer for something. Oh, it's a counter offer. Okay. It's a lot of money to be counter offering. Mm-hmm. Um, check the zoom. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so it's... Flanderies, you take out all the hand traps, so no shifter, no ash blossom, no nothing like that. Get rid of all of it. Replace it with three trap trick, three copies of D Barrier, three copies of Harpy's Featherstorm, uh, a second of the Flanderies trap, and a second of the continuous Flanderies spell. And it went really well. Can I um, ask where you got the trap trick uh, D Baz idea? Like, did that just come up? Because it was just. Very weird that like you we sent will me that, discuss yeah. that, and we got soon. YCS news yeah. of that in lists, I and I was like, like, I just hadn't seen it before, and I was I like, was okay. sitting there like, just debarring my opponent as quickly as I can seems like a fun idea. Yeah. Seems like six cr- just the correct thing to do. Um, forgot to factor in the fact that a lot of people out locals just play Flanderies. 
yep. and striker. So Just I was not. like, half the local does this deck doesn't work against. Hopefully my matchups are good. Yeah. So the, the issue you came into was you're like, I'm geared for Sword Soul and Despia, the two big meta contenders. And then what happened over the weekend is that those two meta contenders did not win the two things that you had built the deck in order to be completely dominant against. Yeah. I would and say they still because of representation. That, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But because of that fact, no one wanted to play the second or third or yeah, fourth yeah. or sixteenth or thirty second lists. They wanted to play Sky Striker. Yes, they yeah. did. And they wanted well, actually our, our local salad player didn't turn up tonight. Ah, uh, what a shame. Yeah, because he doesn't come Tuesdays. Yeah. Um so yeah, that was that was my locals. I went X one. Didn't say it. Went X one. Lost to Jake. Um, did I win can't lock this boy did out I of fusion. Win the die roll. Ah, uh, yes, you did. I won the die wow, roll. And really? no, I got greedy, okay. so I, I opened close to the nuts, but I didn't have a starter normal summon. So instead of just going for like eagle and turning on my uh, spell, no, turning on the harpies, because I had the option of going eagle and or going the quick play and quick playing away the. I had a big bird in hand. Yeah, sure. So you, I was like that. Now I get the Robiner, which was the greedy play, yeah. and that didn't that didn't pan out because he had a dash for the thing. So I was and like, then you just kind of go. Ah. Now that's not live. I had a bunch of D barriers though, so I was just like D barrier, D barrier, and it just eventually just wasn't enough. Yeah, sure. Uh, like he opened branded in red, so he went branded fusion. I flipped D barrier, and then he went chain branded in red. I should have just stand by the D barrier and then been like, cool. Yeah. Let's just move on. And then I summoned the Bernie boy. Yeah. <laughs> Pain. And then I was just like, it's pure pain. Even in this situation, I because I took the two five, and I was like, if I get a pl- to just out that, you have to go through so much. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was it. My other three matchups were like relatively free. I opened exceptionally well. The deck just kind of does. Yeah. Like, it, it has like a bunch of things that you can see so you tend to have good hands so like also the way I built this deck was you side heavily because I it's of my opinion at the moment that your main deck Flandre is standard your the way you win matches is in your side deck because like shit will get sided against you and you need to counter side very heavily in Flandre Uh, against Harry in game 2 I think this is on camera so it's pretty fucked um I side back in the shifters, Ash, and Twin Twisters. Because you're going second? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I Ash him on... No, I activate Shifter. Heard. Then he ends up... Like, he still goes fusion play. Ends on, like, uh, the... <coughs> thing about Bob. The, ban- the Banishy one. Banishy What's one. What's he playing? Three sets. So he's playing Despia. Oh, sure. He ends on, like, the Banishy one three sets. And then I top deck the Twin Twisters bait one set and then twin twisters ditching the eaglin so it gets banished and then just normal summon two can and go full combo oh, right it was yeah, like the that's nuts. rude so like oh. it was twin twisters pop the remaining two back row and then off to the races no I punish went. on the twisters too it's so good yeah it was super cracked um, it's kind of hard deck worked really well when it worked like mm. when it went off went off yeah Yes, it might be. That might be a better idea for my side, like the trap tricks and the um thing, because yeah. against sword soul and stuff, they literally can't play. Yeah, it's they a, just don't play. It is effectively. I call it turn skip flumberies. Yeah. If you win the die roll, you're skipping your opponent's turn, and then you yeah. just set up a the, unbreakable board. I suppose the key difference is at least with Despia, they do have some recurrence because they can do stuff off turn yeah like a uh, d-baz on sword soul unless they've opened a heap of link plays they can do that's it and even then they're not that heavy on links anymore because the aurora on package is finite it came up against kirk where i had like a sort of decent opening but i had the d barrier set and then he went uh the level 10 maker so the six revealing hand Yep, 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 yep. Summon. He summoned the defense position, and I was like, cool, flip D barrack, game. Yep. He didn't summon attack position, so I was like, cool. Like, because he'd, he'd hand trapped me to all shit, so I just had two little birds. Oh, and. I had two yeah. little birds and a set D barrier, because he had, like, oh, triple hand trapped me. That, 2400 defense is more than you can. No, no, deal. so that was the thing. I had those two and a big bird in hand, but oh, I, I'd been I ashed Veilet impermed. 
and then he had the two starters and he summoned it in defense position. I was like, just out of Flip Debarry, yeah. your turn's over. Literally Goodbye. out of pure habit, they've gone defense, defense, and yep. you've gone. Your turn's done. Yeah, cool. Yep. I Instant understand. punishment. Yeah. Yep. And then I just went, cool. Uh, normal summon my. I had the Bird. Apex Avian. I went, normal summon oh. Apex Avian, chain chain, add back. I still go, go. I had the map and I was like, cool. Go. Full combo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. That's so funny. <laughs> it's turn skip yeah, yeah it really is and like none of those cards got hit so no but uh yet. did you say you how you went over states we'll get into that now yeah yes so yeah. states states was this weekend it um, was we've been talking about it for a while too didn't attend didn't attend attended um yes i in the end just didn't give two fucks and went x four one. Ooh. yeah so like the draw sounds more interesting let's start with the draw uh, it was just a mirror Oh, yeah all right it was, it's just a mirror uh game one was like super good like it was a super interesting and interactive game to play uh literally went like 32 minutes where like each of us just counter swung and stopped and counter swung and stopped and eventually i lost because i hadn't gotten the trap card yet the new trap and then he just dropped the new trap on me at one point and i was like oh i'm kind of fuck here uh new trap then, very good mm. game two i so at this point we were like 33 minutes in and i was like I know I can't lose game two if I'm going first. So this is a draw. So I just had to set up for the draw and was like, this is a draw. That's it. Yeah, fair. Like, I knew I couldn't win the match in that amount of time. So it's like, it's just a draw. And I heard that prizing was different to what we thought. Yes, they uh, they actually cut prizing. Um, I believe this was relevant to uh, one of, I think it was South Australia States was capped at 64 players, so they halved all the price support to 32. Yeah. But because South Australia's was lower. Yeah. 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 So they went first, and they were like, 64 is not feasible. Top 32. Otherwise, I would have played more seriously as the day went on. Yeah, because 32. So for, uh, it was about 124, 3, 120 players, somewhere there. Yeah. It should have been exactly 120, because that was the cap. But anyway. I think it was 125 it was, 100... was the cap, yeah. but I was... No, no, it was 120 go. was the cap. Oh. They allowed exactly one more person in to make it eight rounds. I hate you. Yeah. That sucks. So, like, it was, I think at 120, what's double 64? Uh, 128. 128? 128? Uh, they're 129 players. Because at 129, it's eight rounds. Wow. So essentially, like, oh, day one. And then they had top cut as well. Why would they... Oh, my lord. Yeah, why would they have made an extra round yeah. for one person when you're already doing top cut? it's like 32, like, 16, They're like, eight. oh, dinner? No, I don't need that. Take that You've away. Got, you're think, ending up 12 rounds day one. Like, ultimately ended up because there was no Dragon Duels. I think only two Dragon Duel players showed up. Kings! So they, no, three Dragon Duel players showed up, so they just put them into the main event. And oh. then... Yeah. where they went oh, yeah, like don't a... give them free stuff I, because... think, no, I think they just got oh, they good. got their good. price support for dragon oh okay they're like <laughs> their, here's your they needed. here's your prizes here go play with the big children <laughs> yeah. yeah no 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 prizes for you grow up <laughs> so <laughs> you gonna learn today <laughs> You, kid, do you know what Despia does? You're about to. <laughs> Remember how you guys don't know what Chainburn does? You're about to find out. Um, Have a fun time. So my states overall, I played Despia. At the end of the day, I should have just gone and had fun. Instead, I like played. Was like, I'm gonna play serious. Paired Lewis round one. I was like, cool. Shit. Um, a bunch of people got paired together. Uh, even yeah, Celeste yeah. and Mira got paired. Round, round um, one. Kyra got paired. Yeah, round one. Of the 11 of us that went, I think six of us paired together. And it was Stupid. like... Um, and then as the day went on, we paired each other a lot. That's so weird. So I paired Lewis round one, took game one, dropped game two, and then just dropped game three. So that was that. Uh, that was my first Sword Soul matchup. Round two was my second Sword Soul matchup. I won that one. Uh, super nice dude in that round. Um, yeah, super nice guy. Uh, my three Sword Soul matchups, yes, one of them was Lewis, but they were all just super nice people. Yeah. Who it's knows? nice. Nice players play Sword Soul. Irregular, but um, nice. Their yeah. souls have been crushed by the fact that... <laughs> yeah, they lost Protoss <laughs> and they're like, oh, I guess got to be a good person now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so round two, won that one. Uh, super nice guy. Round three, lost that to my own fuck up. I could not have not made this. I, no, I could have not made this mistake. Guy was also like super nice about it. He's like, "Do you want to go back?" And I was like, "Fuck no! This is so regional. Why are you offering me this?" Yeah, no, you. Um, like, no. So I side decked. So I took out the seven cards for going first, knowing I was going second. I see where this is going. And then I 
just put the seven cards that I'd just taken out into my deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, cool. <laughs> this, this was the point in the day where I stopped caring. <laughs> uh, so I took out my seven going first cards. I was like, here are my seven going second cards. Picked up the going first pile and put it in my deck. So I shuffled. Look, at the end of the day, right, it's not a YCS. Yeah. It, like... I already YCS. have my invite. You already have your it's invite. Completely it's completely irrelevant. Gonna be... I just wish I'd played a fun deck. Yeah. Um, so yeah, did that. Drew two going first cards in my opening hand. And I was like, oh, I have miscited. Like, ah. This is a mistake. And the guy was like, oh man, do you want to go back? And I was like, no man, don't offer me this. No. <laughs> Let's play. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah that, as I said, like that guy, super nice as well. Uh, um, random thing, because I got messaged about it. And yeah. they're newer players, but... Uh, at regionals or above, be very strict with your opponent. Don't let them talk you into shit that you don't want to do. Don't let them say, for example, oh, we're close enough to time. Do you just want to call it? Don't do that shit. Oh, I got I got a point to make for this. Yeah, just, um, yes, when you pair friends, it's a bit more tough. Be very strict with your opponent. Don't let them take back shit. We had it at Central where, like, you know, when M pens up and they summon an attack mode and they go, yep, and they go to do a thing and I go, no. Yeah. You've summoned it in attack mode. That is yeah. your mistake. Move. Like the so the thing that I've always find at events, if it's something like this and I like go badly in the first couple of rounds, you tend to verse like people that are willing to be like, Oh, let me take that like I I'll, I'll take that back, you can take that back and I'm I'm still sitting there like, No, nah, I made a mistake. It's my fault. Yeah. Um so that was my first three rounds. Salt, 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 salt. Uh round four, I played that mirror, the branded mirror, drew that. Uh so at this point I was like, Oh, it was fine. Uh, then round five, I played against, uh, what did I play in round five? Come on, Nidetic Memory. Well, my matchups for the rest of the day were branded fucking, I think this was what I played next. It was branded Buster Bleeder. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, actually makes sense. Uh, Branded fusion gets you to Lebellion and Lebellion makes the Buster Blader fusion. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then you just got a Buster Blader fusion. Yeah, that was it. Uh, easy. Uh, so I 2 0 him. And I'm fairly sure at some point I just openly let him cheat. And I was just like, again, I was like, I don't care. Like he Lebellion affected and then just was like, uh, fuse with your monsters. And I was like, I don't think Lebellion does that, but. I'm up one game and I have all the advantage at this point. I don't care. <laughs> I think um, there have been a couple decks in time that yeah, like... The Billion definitely does a super poly. No. It no. Does, um, dude, they do like so much shit that like... There have been a couple of times where I went... Did I just... Did you just... Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know enough. And I'm like... Yeah. Ritual Beasts were that way, bro. The only people that knew what, who, like, what that deck did was the people playing Ritual Beasts. I was yeah. like, what the fuck is... What? But, sure. So that was that. I was like, in game three, I actually like miss. No, in game two, that that game two, I misplayed on my opening. So like, he chose to go second, I think. Oh, I, and I went like full combo. Had Ash Mercurio, and he normal summoned the Buster Whelp. And from the director's cut, I know that if you stop that Buster Whelp, they're fucked. So I was like. I had the Mercuria. I could have just Mercuria negated it. And I just instinctively went, Ash Blossom. I just threw my Ash Blossom in the bin. And he was like, oh. Okay. And then passed. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I did the right thing. Um, cool. For people wondering, the top... Oh, we'll, go, we'll get that in a second, man. Oh. Let me finish my week in oh, yu gi oh. <laughs> I'm still it talking about... It is a about... fucking week. Holy oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Uh... We, you asked for my matchups. You asked for my matchups. I didn't. No, at no yes, point. We're... At no point. We're talking <laughs> matchups with Ben. <laughs> no uh, one asked you. <laughs> then I played DDD. Super nice DDD guy, because I understood what DDD was. He was like... Anyways, I'm going. Uh, so, yeah. I knew what DDD did. He's like, oh, cool. Someone that knows what it did. So he just went full combo. And I was like, yeah, cool. Uh, I got rivalry game two and three. He was like, bye. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah. Then I played... There's just one matchup that's escaping me. I can remember the locations in the room I was sitting, but it's just a forgettable matchup, I guess. Um, yeah. And then last round, I played Sky Striker, Mystic Mine. 
Oh, that sounds so, so at much So at this, this point of the day, the guy next to me is watching the footy on his phone. My phone drops <laughs> Mystic Mine, and I'm like, oh, so we're watching the footy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's it. That was so my, my tawny. Now, is it two, top four, 16s. six, eight? Yeah, so top 16 of the event. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Despia. Let's go like four Sword Soul, uh, Predator Plant Despia, which I have seen like once in my life. There's, well, yeah, we'll, and we'll get into that a bit more. Uh, yes, Synchrons was the other deck. S- <laughs> Synchrons, two o. Welcome oh, to no. 2015. <laughs> yeah, I knew how the deck worked. But right, they like, weren't good in 2015. Get that. <laughs> Um, there was, uh, unfortunately, three Salamine Great and then one Adignista. And this was after Swiss. Yeah, he was top after Swiss, the Adignista First, player. Yeah. Which, like... Yeah, a bunch of people couldn't have their tails. There was four yeah, 20... Towers. There was four 21-pointers. One was Adignista, two were Despia, one was Salamine Great. Fun fact, because we played the extra round, there was no undefeated left. Yeah, that's what I noticed, because I saw the 21 and I went, that's not how that works. Yeah, because we uh, played the one extra round... Um, but it's, it's interesting no sense. Uh, adding this to big towers what are you going to do if they can't yeah out, it, it is yeah and it's like a very decent counter to the current meta in that um, yeah towers not many decks can get to something that's 4k and then beat over something else um, without wasting a whole heap of resources and even if you out the towers like that deck naturally rec- recurs resources, so it'll just set up an access code and kill you later. So they just expend everything to get over the towers. You go, yeah, and they've literally gotten all their resources back for doing that combo. Yeah. Um, and then secondly, it's very decent at breaking boards. Um, everything searchable. The extra deck caters for that, plus whatever you side in. Don't if you know you're going that? second, yeah. Don't they lose to a hospitality and a dragon maids party? Yeah, that's it. They lose to dragon maids hiding and. And the HC. I don't remember um, seeing any Dragon Maid at States, so... Yeah, I didn't No, it definitely wasn't in the top 16. No, that was my bad. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah, the guy just had good matchups. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, I mean, like, oh, at the end oh, of the day, right, oh, like, oh, no, it's no, no, part no, of that. No, 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 So, here's the thing. So, Josh, because someone else did well with Salad, which he didn't... Well, actually, to be he fair, he did. He top 16 the event. He did top 16 the event. He was one of the three he, Salad. He's However, the 15th place Salad deck. Yes. <laughs> However... Um, wanted to spout nonsense that Salad was the best deck, even though Ignistus had done the best in Swiss. Um, I mean, they did exactly the same as Yahweh's Salad and Great, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, but you two. Um, I can't remember the point I was on now. Salamangre. I can only hold one rant at a time, points. and I'm still hanging on to this rant from before. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, we need to get to that. It's important. Yes. Fire away with your rant. So... The reason I did not go is because the three days leading up to that event i was feeling incredibly sick friday i wanted to die um i took five hot showers that day that's how bad i felt fuck that's not great no i i felt like shit you uh, split in a water bill with your brother do you we don't have a water bill oh big place because cool? you pay for the hot water we don't have gas oh it's just magic <laughs> it's just magic have you heard of electric hot water ben yeah but when robin williams died did you imprison him in your hot water system <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? (laughs) If you understood that joke, comment down below. Anywho. So, Saturday I was feeling better, so I was like, okay, if I am not feeling as coffee and as gross as I am at the moment, then I will permit myself to go. Woke up Sunday, still coughed. I was like, okay, for the benefit of everybody else in the room and myself, I won't go to the event. I don't want to get people sick. Yeah. Was super miserable, but got to watch YCS because of it. Like, that was the sort of silver lining of it. I got to sit there and watch the stream. Come to today, um, and I hear from Costa that he's unwell, um, and that he probably caught it from someone at the event. Um, Makes sense. Not probably. Did probably catch it from the event, because... Several people went there sick. Several people actively had symptoms, coughing, sneezing, running nose, and all that kind of shit. We're not wearing masks, but we're at the event. Oh, I heard... We walked into the room, and we're like... Everyone was just sitting and waiting, and I, someone immediately coughed and sounded fucking horrible, and I was like... I go on holidays next week, and I'm going to be sick. Me so... COVID at this event. 
so we have had the worst thing happen to us for the last two and a half years. Yep. It has been rammed down our throat for that amount of time. If you are sick, literally, stay home. Why would you not stay home? I don't care if it's not COVID. Sickness is sickness. Yeah. Keep it to yourself. Stay the fuck at home. I literally won't lie to you. Friday, I go to a concert that I've had tickets for for like a year and a half. Just got super fucking sick. Went, okay. I won't go to States. And not only am I not going to play on Sunday, but I literally just sat in the corner and just like clapped for my team. And that was about it. I get home and uh, I go, oh, uh, I like message a couple people and they go, oh, um, I'm feeling super sick. And I go, oh, what happened? Everybody went to events on the weekend and everyone was fucking sick. Apparently nobody get like, literally I was like, there was, a, there was like a mini convention on, there was like just fucking random, like, like shows in like clubs and they were like, nope, everyone was just sick and everyone just went, fuck is, we're just going, fuck it, we've done it. It makes me so angry because we sacrificed a lot of time over those last two years for this exact type of protocol. And I'm all for it. If you are sick, stay the fuck away from everyone else. Like, it, it doesn't matter what you have. No one else should have it. That's so it really mask, pissed like, me. Well, we, yeah, we that's be the in, other like, thing. If you are places, sick mask, and like... you feel the need that you have to play, which you fucking don't, Wear a mask. Just keep we've your done that. shit to we did yourself. It for like two years. Wear a mask. I was a little concerned when I got there. I walked into the room and not a single person had a mask on. And I was like, cool. "Oh, that guy has a mask on. He's not going to protect all of us." <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. At the end of the day, like it's not like a not happening. I, I just I don't know. Like, plus we hear from the US what they've got going on with all their events and shit like this. And like we were supposed to run under the same protocol. Yeah, it just wasn't adhered. I, I won't lie to you. Enforced. Ours are a bit. This might. I'll try and make this relevant. Traveling, because, you know, we travel to events. Um, every plane I've gotten on since coming back has all been like, we need these tests, we need you to do this, we need you yeah, to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've walked onto every single plane. Yeah. Nobody checked shit. Nobody asked for vaccinations. Yeah, because it's internationals where that matters. Domestic, fuck it. But even, even like Jetstar for domestic was like, hey, we just want a rat test. Like, just a rat test that, that is clear and you're good and then a mask and vaccination and you're good. Didn't check a damn thing. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get on the plane now. Like, um, I had a point to make. But I think we're all just, okay. so, just over it. As to that as well, like when you look at, I'm sure some people watching this have been to Mega Games Penrith. And Mega Games Penrith regionals are typically capped at 100 players because 100 players is typically where you can fit in that room. It's a decent size, but it's not huge. We fit 129 players into that room. And yeah, it was... It was How'd it go? Was it... it was confronting to walk into that room and be like that's a lot of people oh that's a lot of people like I was genuinely getting a bit stressed at times I was like a lot of people here like a lot did you was it um, super cramped or was it like actually functional some know... areas were func perfectly functional some yeah. areas were super cramped is Mega Games the one where I, I like one half of the store, like a part of the store, is like the little retail thing, and yep, then you've yep, got like yep. all this. Yeah, yep. so there's like a nice, divider, nice like about a third of the way through the store, and then yeah. the rest is just free play space. Okay, because like when I saw the cap, I was like, that's a lot of people. That's yeah. A lot of people. I was like, oh. They did like Pokemon and stuff there, and even like 40, 50 people for pre release. I was like, Wee. yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, so that annoyed the shit out of me when I heard about that. Um, so yeah, uh, TLDR. It's not hard. Just if you're sick, stay home. Just That'd be a fucking. It's for some reason we're all like a lot of people are getting <coughs> sick with just general colds. I made the joke that it's just boring normal people sick. Stay home, be considerate, like just try not to to do that kind of I shit. Just don't don't be sick a dick before the weekend. Yeah, I've, I've waited three years to go on a holiday. <laughs> I just that's true. Yeah, realistically, holiday. yeah, yeah. Like literally, do you know the last thing I did? Like the last official thing we had Brisbane. The thing before that was exactly what we're going to Melbourne Regionals or Melbourne <laughs> Oceanics. In twenty at the start February of 2019. 2020. 2019. Huh? Didn't you just go to Feb twenty twenty? I didn't. You definitely went to Feb twenty twenty. You definitely went to Melbourne Feb twenty twenty. There's definitely oh my a God, thing that is you my went brain to. breaking. Yeah, well, it's been broken. You definitely for some time. went to this because I can sit here for all of twenty so minutes. Time is just so fucked. Time. Uh, I was over. Yeah, yeah. I was overseas in twenty nineteen. Got back 
February, so 2020. It's been 10 years since I've been overseas. Fuck. Really? When did you go to Japan? I've never been to Japan. Oh. I've oh. met, I've been booked to go to Japan every year for Most the past three possible. years. Can't wait to book it next year and I'll go. Speaking of traveling, we had uh, overseas news uh, that also pertained to Australian players, which is sick. Yes, people traveled to the land of freedom. Land of freedom and... and you, know, Just, you do. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's because the camera's over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fucked. It wasn't admin approved. Um, land of freedom. But we had a major YCS. Uh, we did. Cool. YCS Hartford Can happened was, on the weekend. Did we have a player count? I didn't see it. 1,236. Uh, it's really yeah, good. 1,200. It's really good. Ish. Um, so yeah, very good turnout. Um, so it went over the two days. I got to watch some of it. Um, How before was the I get stream? To... Good. The stream quality was good, just like it was in the last one that they streamed. Um, I feel it was even better because the lighting wasn't um, completely fucked on some cards. I also really appreciated that when they did that like player profile preview thing, not every player went. Yeah. yeah At one point, yeah. I was watching it with DZ, and DZ was like. <laughs> I was like, okay, DC. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, no, the stream was very good quality. Um, one thing, I, it's literally just sparked in my mind. One thing that's um, made me realize why that they've probably kicked up the quality of the stream is because they have so much more to actually um, get from it than they ever did. When you think about how much they used to be able to advertise, it was like, hey, buy our product. That was it. Now well, they promoted it is... you to buy a lot of that product. <laughs> yeah, but like they were promoting structured decks and sets that hadn't been available for some time in some cases yeah. and stuff like that. But now, when you think about the amount of stuff that they can advertise, they've got obviously the product that you can buy. They've got Master Duel. They've got Duel Links. They've got uh, I won't lie Rush to you. Duels. Um, this is not directed at you. You mean like? every sports and esports thing done in the last 10 years yeah absolutely like, I'm, they, I'm not saying that this is a new concept you're absolutely right but what you're saying is they've, they've clocked like if we make a lot of people watch this that is beneficial to us not only because you get to see a high level game but also we can sell your shit yeah 100%. yes yeah so uh, when we don't fucking have it and there's a thousand people at our event I'm like what are you just doing you do run into the small issue with like YCS coverage though was like between the rounds god fucking knows how long it's gonna be until you get another yeah. round <laughs> yeah and like the, the, the middle the yeah they I just will don't say the times that I was waiting between those streams wasn't too long this time round like there wasn't any round that had a massive gap yeah like I think all of it was pretty it like half an hour I think one was that must have been on day two then I think that was after the DZ match because he fucking destroyed that guy. <laughs> and then, yeah. Um, oh, well, there's the other yeah. thing as well. Like, you've got a 42, 45 minute round and when the stream finishes yeah. super quickly. Oh, yeah. I think that was that was one thing that I'd watch. I think it was literally just before the final. I was like half awake at that point because it was like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, was the match before must have finished not too long before I'd clocked on. And um, all they showed was like just the overhead, like distant camera okay. of another person playing their like top table match. Okay. And I didn't understand the context of what was happening because, again, half awake. And I thought that that was the quality of the stream they were showing. I was like, I can't see a goddamn thing these people are doing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind if they did just have some kind of B rolling B table. Yeah, of just like a I, camera. Say like there's a row of eight to ten players, and just have a camera there. So between the rounds, you can just kind of generally see what's happening. Watch the judge calls. I suppose oh, I won't, I won't lie to you. They, <laughs> they put on old American WCQs, like uh, like a year or oh, way longer than that. The last time we had international, or like, sorry, national events for America during the breaks, they put on like old WCQs, and I was like, that's they, just cool. I watch that. Fun. They did he do that. Doesn't know. <laughs> yeah did they that's cool yeah they, I'll so watch they it. did I'll watch it they did depending on what the format is I'll watch it put Ex on Zoo I'll fucking watch it except for the part where they put on the player that they had just banned oh no yeah. so <laughs> oh no Torres ah uh, yes Andre yeah. Torres after winning the YCS that happened in Central America uh, and got banned after 
Uh, again, we mentioned it on the podcast. We said congratulations to him, five-time winner. Don't know why he got banned, but yeah, got banned. Uh, um, yeah, and just quickly to slip that in, uh, the rumours are that someone joked about him cheating in order to win just before the match had started and the judge had overheard it. Sure, so similar thing yeah. to... Um, but right, okay. In this... In that... Similar thing. To, contextual um, story, uh, that was trip, trip, yeah. at a 3v3. And I don't know when the last 3v3 of significance was. I think, look, if it's he hasn't, if he hasn't yeah. picked up a stink about it, well, we don't, he yeah, might have been sorted don't, behind... You don't know. know. You don't know. Um, the... What I've found so, is that the um, Spanish-speaking um, YouTuber community does not have any overlap with the oh, English-speaking okay. one. Yeah. So, so like, there is you, just a wall. Yeah, literally. Like, I had to when I found out that he'd won with that list, I had to do some deep darking to try and find out deep diving, I should say, to try and find out where his list was. And eventually, oh, I found, I found it immediately. I couldn't find it anyway. Okay. Um, um, yeah. I obviously, can't... I found it now, but anyway. Okay, I'll just go with this information and we'll see what we do. But, for, as for um, the decks, Jake has them. So yes. So we can do decks first, I guess. Yes, so annoyingly, I have them in percentages. Um, so uh, Is I this percentage apologize. of the full thing? Or uh, the of the 32? top 32. How okay, much sure. of the meat pie? <laughs> yes, pie graph. Uh, so we have 22% punk, um, sure, which okay. I think is just the designation they've given to any deck that was using a punk engine. You can keep talking. Uh, we have 22% yeah, Sword Soul, uh, 20% Branded, uh, which appears to be Despia. They won. Uh, 9% Sky Striker, uh, 9% Fluandery, uh, 6% Drytron, <gasps> and then all three percenters we've got Dragon Link, Adagnista, DD, and ABC. Not super shocking, but which would be ABC, ABC Therion. Sure. Um, I didn't um, realise there was an Adagnista player that got into the top 32. That makes me excited. Um, in terms of like Jake notable... Jake like the at sim on a keyboard. Yeah. Uh, notable players in the top cut after Swiss. Uh, there was a couple. Jesse Cotton, obviously. Luke Parks, who has been topping fucking everything. Absolute monster. Um, Poe. Did, did Jesse Cotton top 32? Uh, he had a lot of fucking points. So if he didn't, he went terribly in day two. Oh, so you're talking about... The, I've, got the, day, the, I've got day one, and he's slow on, like, 24 points. Yeah. So, I mean, it should have been, like... Okay, because from what I figured, what I saw, the Predator Plant deck capitulated on day two. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. no. Like, once everyone had a night to, like, kind of figure out the deck, it was not a difficult matchup on day two. Yeah. And uh... that's, I suppose, one of the weaknesses of that type of strategy going into a YCS. You'll yeah. do really strong on the first day, sure, because no one understands what your deck does. Once the but then they players... have a night of research yeah. to work out where the choke points are. Then you have to be on your A game. Adding yeah. Nista was on table nine in the last round. Whew. Oh, the blobs. The blobs are coming out strong. But, um, notably, we had two Australian players uh, finish in the top 32. Uh, going, Sorry, going into the top 32. Which is cool. Yeah, like as that. far as I'm very aware, good Poe didn't drop a game all day. Uh, no, I don't have last innings. I'm fairly sure Poe dropped the game on day one. Uh, he didn't oh, maybe drop... it's only on day one, but I don't yeah. think he dropped a single game no. throughout. From what the stream said, he was whatever it was, 15 on one, or what, yeah. whatever the yeah. was. Uh, he finished 15 on one. That's not. Yeah. He's been on that, look, he's playing Sky Striker. Um, he's Welcome been on that deck for as long as. Yeah. You go to yeah, Sydney, you play against Poe playing Scratch Rocker. You and go to Orange, he's yeah. your one loss at a regional. Um, in the final. But, uh, and then Mitro, who has done extensively well in for a lot of years in this game in this country. There's um, a year that we skipped. Y yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we I find that funny. Um, yes, but over like the 2014-15 period was like very 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 good um and it's now recently in the last like year or so i've seen like go up again which is cool um and then going through top cup we actually had poe win the event uh, yes what an absolute monster we like australians doing well um there was a big i guess the meme going around was the the sky striker fucking what's the oh my god what's the field spell Oh my lord! Set help! Mystic ah, Mind? Mystic Mind. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the Sky the, Striker uh, Field No, spell. the fucking... Um, the, it is! Um, and the Thunder Field spell sometimes. Uh, but the... the 
written the written report of the match and it was just has passed has passed has passed has passed has passed oh yeah, oh, yeah that was really passed. funny I, I, I saw that funny. everywhere you might like you may have seen it mystic might uh i i think in a local setting i don't get very like especially with funder i get very like can't be bothered to do this just so I can, uh, but in a in a ycs setting mystic mind does things especially when they just don't fucking play it out apparently well yeah you're, you're it was out. a monster heavy format yeah you're out in thingamabob branded is summon chimera uh, and then hope you have a polyam graveyard so you can't be targeted by the widow anchor yep genuinely like um it's it's got to be crazy playing mystic mind to sit there and then have the realization of going oh you're out of shit like you don't have an answer you just don't you didn't sign yep. one in either yep. oh okay uh sick I'm alright with that but this was me watching the footy at <laughs> you, you, you were like, I was like, you were like I was literally yeah, just yeah. like okay pass <laughs> pass pass did you know you were playing something like playing an pass. out though or were you yeah like... I just didn't say okay. I was like I just need to drop poly couldn't drop poly <laughs> I mean, look, at, at the end of the day, yeah. uh, I'd be curious to see if uh, we see... Apparently, uh, Missing Mind's price did go up, so be aware if you're buying stuff. Uh, Woo! Yeah. $7 supers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, if you buy Missing Mind, you're a nonce. Yeah, honestly, so fair. Um, but it'll be interesting to see, again, like if we see Sky Strikers pop up a bit more now, if we see... I hope so. Contrary to... Up? No, because I want that shit banned. Yeah, okay, it needs to... It does have a This is the one. other rant that I had. Yes. I forgot yes. about it and now it's back. If Zoo got its shit back, did well, and then got banned again, treat Sky Striker the same. Fuck it off. When, I, I, when, when do we get the new Sky Striker support? I won't, I won't lie to you. Um, I don't know. Because it was like an OCG exclusive set that had like the Witchcrafter, the Maikachi, and the Sky Striker support all in it at once. It was like the, they called it the secret shiny box. I feel like there's we need to get that first before they can hit engage. No. But I feel like we have an announcement for that. I feel like we know when we're getting that. I don't care. I said I feel like a lot in this past ben couple it. sentences. Yeah. Um I was playtesting Sky Strikers over the last couple of days because Mira Scum. wanted to take Sky Strikers to states and I went, I played this deck for a year straight. I should have some vague idea about this deck. Let me try and help you out. Um yeah, I won't lie. Even with, like, specifically, Engage came to my mind. I was like, hey, yo, this shit at one. This shit's real good still. I, like, every time, like, every time the deck, I, like, sat down and, like, tested and felt, and the deck did what it did, I was like, man, this shit just works. Like, this just says negate. This says banish and summon from grave. This says stop playing the game. And then Hayate just goes, hiya! Like, what else do you need? It's real good. I had against my Mystic Mind. What do I get one? My matchup. At one point, the guy like picked up his Hayate and went like, hi ya And like, <laughs> I think at that point he was like, yeah, I shouldn't do that. And I was like, okay, boss. <laughs> I I just like I looked at him and was just like, <laughs> boss. And then he was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. And I was like, yeah, you, you the, shouldn't have done that. The 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 funniest thing for me has been with Mira being a new player being like settle keep doing it when like I summon two birds and I get stopped at two birds and she goes mystic mine Hayate uh Hayate uh and then goes oh I'll try and like do something else and like I was like stop just keep doing the thing in that I'll situation die. why do you not just overlay your birds and go Zeus play yeah yeah I know Zeus play right there got anchored. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but just go into the XCs, you attack. Get anchored. Yeah. She pokes through. Oh, also, the um, line gets popped. <laughs> so you just oh no! I've completely lied to you. It was M pen and a uh, oh. M pen and a fucking uh, Eglin, because I okay, was like, why didn't you link so... the two of them into uh, the floor, the the other one? Oh shit! I could have done that. Do I do I play it? Yeah, I don't know. Play. I don't ever look at my extra deck. Um. Uh, I have this spell. You play outs in your extra deck. I have the um the <laughs> continuous spell. Yeah. And I was like, that's my out. Like all I need to do is draw a big bird, and then I go. Yep. Dead. Um, but to have this like understanding of stop, just set a bunch of really good back row, put Mystic Mine up, and just swing face, and just just stop, just do that. 
that's all you need to do. And that was when I went, this deck's kind of fucking good. This deck's kind of good. Two pros as well is interesting. I think his deck had two pros. One, three. Three. Three? I don't know. He had two. Uh, but it's interesting. And then playing uh, what Ben was talking about before, which is the um, trap trick into... It turned Skip Sky Strikers, essentially. It was just trap trick into um, Thebaz. And then just all of the Sky Striker bullshit. You've got multi-roll to keep fucking going off all your resources. Multi-roll um, doesn't seem that important in the deck anymore. It really oh, doesn't. Are you? Yeah. you don't want to banish your shit. You'd rather just keep adding it back. And then they... Does he play the um the pot to put back all the extra deck cards? Or is it too slow? Too slow. Yeah, interesting. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, only because you put all the links back and then just go and do it again. But It's too not slow. super necessary... I feel like at a point where you'd probably want to do that, you've probably also gotten to a point where you can just go for the access code line. Yeah. About, yeah. In the YCS, Poe was cycling like as if I thought he was going for that play, and then I realized no, it's just so he's can. So he had the D barrier. And when you look back on it, it kind of flagged that he had the D barrier because he's gone down a kind of, a kind of line. Kind of the opponent's uh, the zero maker one, so it couldn't declare an attack on one the next turn. The Kiedis? Yeah. Yep. And then he's gone attack with the Hayate, and then just passed on the Hayate, I think, because he had cycled through everything. And then he clearly just had the set D barrier, because now his opponent couldn't attack him with the Kiedis, and then just D barriered him when he tried to do more, and then was just like, okay, I have full control of this game now. Fuck. Ah, oh, funny, funny purple card. Funny pink card? Are they pink or purple? Yeah, asking the wrong person. I'm colorblind. I don't know. Have we got questions? We do have some questions from our Discord. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, cool bunch of lads in there. Ask us questions. Uh, jump in for duels and stuff. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> let's see what our first question will be. You can also uh, leave comments on the, the YouTube description if you care comment um, wherever comments can be found yes it helps the video so if you just want to talk a bunch of shit or there's something that comes up just slap into the comments comment on our, on our myspace yeah <laughs> ben uh, runs it officially no, if you, Seb runs it if you talk oh sorry Seb if you Same with that in though. myspace if you go to myspace and you type in um, cowboy games easy so our first question this week comes from crowbat5 I mean, big up Crobat V. Yeah. <laughs> Crobat V? <laughs> he draws six, bro. Potentially. Uh, my podcast question for this week. So I bought goes King. The... He, he has King. Actually, 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 he asked King. actually quite a actually He asked questions. He does. He does. Otherwise, um, you wouldn't fucking... We would just, we'd ignore them. Exactly. Um, so I bought Ghost from the Past 2 and saw they were advertising dual links. And I wanted to know what you think what? of that game Did in its current state. Yeah, they have like little QR codes of Master Duel, which you think are to get your Duel free gems, is. but no, no, it's the same thing. If only we like Pokemon. Um, so, what I want to know is what you think of the game in its current state, with Master Duel being a better way to play the game digitally. Was it Master is... Duel or Duel Links? Duel Links. Okay, Duel Links. We, we got mixed up there. Yes, yes, yes. With Master Duel being a better way to play the game digitally, is Duel Links a thing of the past? I don't mind Speed Duel format, but the game still lacks a lot of of cards and I can't fully make my hero deck in Duel Links mm. um ideally we'd like to have Loza on for this question but uh non Loz um in, in Loza's opinion yes Duel Links is dead <laughs> um I won't lie Duel Links was fun I played Loz Zombie uh Blue Eyes when it came, like what was the thing uh it was it's a really cool format but Konami has this thing of like just introducing a bunch of like formats and stuff and then making it was three times in that sentence because Duel Links is dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Duel like, Links is like so Konami, dead. Konami has this thing of new kind of format, speed duels, fucking Duel Link, whatever it is. No. And then no, going. Speed duels. And then going. Speed duels oh. died. But yeah, but there's like they introduce it and then they go. Support? You nah, chief. Support? Nah, chief. Um, I feel like Duel Links had a good run and was like. Apparently it made them a shit ton of oh, money. Oh, yeah. Duel Links oh, had apparently, a good, like, five year run. Like. I imagine the profit margin on that thing is super high because it's not hard to develop what they developed. Uh, I guarantee you it cost like it was like five people there, in a fucking no room. Card R&D. Well, there's card R and D, but like R and D is to. in like what do you think we can release? They did make new cards for that, which I find hilarious. Like they're just like there's... battle faders, though. Yeah, yeah, the fucking. All the battle faders. There were some cards that were well, in that the anime the that we never had. 
like there were some cards that there are anime cards that would never got translated to real cards Whoa. that they put into um, that so it wasn't like they made new cards and shit like they made some but it wasn't that crazy yeah right okay um, but yeah basically I feel as if the big swing into Master Duel has probably left them wondering if they want to continue supporting it like they probably will for some time um, but my thought is that they'll probably phase it out eventually to funnel more people into Master Duel have one central thing that they can then put more of their energy into rather than having several little pots of different games yeah um because that's been the i think the thought process of most things is at least like get them into one thing and then funnel them through to the other speed duels is a really good example of that they released that as like a thing people did it um but like support for that has been waning up until fairly recently they started doing those boxes but i think it's the, the game yeah, but I think the game, or the idea of it at least, is to use those games to get people to play the IRL game, just, eventually. Just, just the funnel of, like... Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Just the pipeline. Yeah, Duel Links is dead. It's like, I, I haven't openly acknowledged Duel Links or had a reason to even see anyone acknowledge Duel Links since Master Duel released. Even, like, since Master Duel got announced, and we got the trailer, I feel like at that point, Duel Links died. That was the day Duel Links died. Yeah, because people went, oh, we're settling. Like, we don't want to play yeah. three lane yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. We want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. People were like... settling for what they had. They yeah. were like, I can't play the physical card game on the go. This is not an option. There was that Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations game you could play that was cheap. Oh, the thing on the Switch. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, on mobile too. phone, there was a game called like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Generations that was, it stopped at like early Pendulum. Oh. Yeah, like, as in you're getting, like, the fucking, that dragon y thing. The link, the link or something. Oh my lord, bar. what is this oh, shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm just waiting for Duels to the Rose remake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That game was, was fucking dreadful. It was dreadful, but fuck did it slap. I played the sh- I played that so much. Bro, Yu Gi Oh! Chess. We played Yu Gi Oh! Chess. Yeah. What? Capsule policy. One year of us playing this game. No. You didn't see us become victory player ever. Ever. What? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Ooh, what game is this? Player. We streamed this game multiple you, times. I don't care. Yeah, I don't watch the streams, but it's fine. Capsule. It's fine. What is this called? Capsule Coliseum, but Coliseum is spelled wrong. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> it is spelled wrong. <laughs> it's a GBA game. <laughs> it is spelled wrong. It's on PS2. Yeah. Um, it's on PS2. Oh my god, it is chess. Yeah, it's just chess. It is literally chess, except you have to hatch your pieces. It's still better than Duel Links. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it's probably got a bigger active player than Duel Links. It didn't even get to links in Duel Links. That's pretty funny. That is The hilarious. entire game that was designed around... Was it designed around the way that they did it in... in Not Zexal, 5Ds, and the other one. Brains. Brains. You know uh, how the, like, the first episode is like, We were playing three zones! Were they... Uh, I don't know if Duel Links was based on that but they definitely have that same sort of format because that's like a thing that's carried on throughout Vrains is like they have certain format of duels where you can only play three and three which is the only reason the Altergeist bitch never wins is because she can't set all the back row (laughs) imagine like showing up and being like now guys today we're going to play with three zones also no pen no XCs no link (laughs) (laughs) That's literally what people on Dueling Network... Dueling Book. Ah! 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 Uh, um, has been asking for for years. No pen, no XC, no synchro. Did he miss the joke? He did. Okay. He decided to, yeah. like, hammer it home. Yeah. Next question. I think that's why I said Dueling Network initially, because my brain sees the, like, the, the Dueling Room and all caps, no pendulum, no XC, I, and I think Dueling Network. I remember one time me and Logan joined custom cards with the bingo card that was like if you summon six different number monsters you win and a guy was like that's unfair I was like nothing in your deck can be targeted go fuck yourself that is the stupidest thing because everyone who has made a custom card has made it to be ridiculous yeah 
It's it's always it's always oh I get to add six things pop everything untargetable uh, untargetable you can't respond <laughs> yeah you can't respond oh and it's a, and it's a spell, spell, spell it's a no. yeah it's a trap monster all that my cards are spell speed four <laughs> uh, and Ash specifically doesn't work I call this card rapid reinforcement of the army <laughs> gives all my stuff to reinforcement of the it's army special summons can't be responded from deck. to it counts as a normal summon can't be responded to. Oh god, yeah, custom cards are stupid. Um, our it's next balanced, question I swear. is, uh, well, it'll be brief. Uh, what do y'all think about Brave en- Engine in Salad? Uh, would it be worthwhile to pick up a deck, possibly play as part of a 60 card salad list? Um, no, it is not necessary. Uh, spending $500 on a $5 deck is egregious. It doesn't make it, argue- it doesn't make it like super functionally better. Just don't do it. Just play no. Salad, bro. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to think of like <laughs> where the synergy is. Uh, yeah. there because isn't... you summon. Oh no, you don't. It's purely <laughs> on the thought that you don't need a normal summon to activate in salad. Like the idea is. Oh you wait, just... no. Did you say you said branded? Yeah, or brave? I said brave. Oh, I thought you said branded. Oh. No. Yeah, my but brain was like, that's why you're broken there. I was like, <laughs> but, 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 but you're links, <laughs> but links, but fusion, but links, but fusion, <laughs> purple, <laughs> blue, purple, <laughs> blue, purple, <laughs> blue, purple, <laughs> blue, purple, <laughs> blue. I'm curious as to the playback whether or not you said branded or brave. No, I heard brave. <laughs> okay. I absolutely said brave. I think it's fine. Because, like, I don't know. It literally stops just your foxy. Even then, Foxy effect rarely gets used on summon because you prefer to summon it back. Yeah, exactly, so it's fine. Oh, did you guys say it was fine while my brain was breaking? Yep. <laughs> um, I just said it's I, not... Listen, I just said, like, just play Salad, bro. Like, chill. It don't, did, you don't buy the whole fucking engine just for one Omni to get. Just yeah. comment this. Uh, no, this was <laughs> from Meister Schwert. Um, Meister Schwert. Wait, doesn't so, Mr. Sweet normally ask about other stuff? Mr. Sweet. Um, he usually asks about Marincess. Uh, right. This week he is on salad. Why are you playing Marincess salad? What? what? Mix the hot and the cold. Yeah, because you're hot and then you're cold. Service, yes, yeah? and you're no. Yes, they are. Hot you're and cold. You're in and you're out. You're up and then you're down. Shout Katie, to, stop. Shout out to MasterChef. Classic MasterChef 117. Anywho. Um... So, my thoughts on this. Uh, if you already own Salad, don't buy Brave. If you already own Brave, then... Ah, fuck it. Pick up Salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It costs you $3 and a high five, so you may as well. The high yeah. five is how you get the sign up Mining's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, that... no, I'm fairly sure he has sign up Mining's already. He's playing Marincess. He does. He does. Wait, no. I remember reading a thing a couple of weeks ago that he didn't, for some reason. Get sign up Mining's. Did it get reprint? It did. It's had a couple of reprints now. I think well, it's Secret, Ultra, Super. I also didn't know Trap Tricks had a reprint. Yeah, it's a yes. okay. um, It's a super rare. It's a two dollar card. Do, do, do. It's now no longer a two dollar card, probably. But anyway, here we are. Anyway, demise of the land's gone up as well. Yep. <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, wonder when those forty Planet Pathfinders we have on the table are going to go up to above five dollars. Wait, was he playing Planet Pathfinder? No, but we need to. Push the narrative. Oh yes, no, he yeah, was really playing good. them. You didn't see them in the profile, but they were there by them. Yeah, um, we're good friends with Bo. He definitely was playing Planet Pathfinder. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I don't know whether we actually said it, but yeah, congratulations to Poe and Big ups, Peter um, for doing incredibly well. Oh, we said congratulations. Um, we but mentioned that they won. I don't a think long we actually ass day, actively said it. Like a very long day, a lot of fucking rounds. Fair cop. It's the land Travel of the free to... for a reason. Yeah. We can walk into oh, their back also, door and quick, then get quick, out in time. Quick for touch back on that. Apparently, they got robbed, <laughs> or at least oh, one of the people. I did hear oh, about yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the people their, that went like, with straight up out of their bag. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, there was also a case of I don't. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Australian lot. Um, there was a case of. They swear. They swear down that they never put the backpack down, and someone just like. No, it's the same. It's the same. It's oh, the same. yeah. No, there's two different ones. So yeah, there's one where saw... they swifted it from the backpack when yep. they never left it. Yep. And then the other was like the bag was sitting yep. next to them but and they never the left their side. Oh my God. Is it Both really? things happened to the same group. Because yeah. I they saw... They also got their like cover written. Too. Oh, yes, yes. Didn't they... T- like, they took the fucking... Yeah. Yeah, so one of them had their bag or something taken from the car. Yeah. Um, 
everything important other than their cards was taken. So they left the passport, cards, and everything Fuck. in the car park. Yeah. And ev- all the cards were gone. And, like, it was a pretty high rarity deck from what I'm told as well. Um, actually, yeah, I'm now remembering a couple other things from the YCS that I want to bring up now. Um, it is too late. However, um, I'm running the podcast, so I'll do what I want. No, uh, I just quickly remembered something. Oh. It's because they didn't have guns. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's true. They, when they got there, they forgot to get their, their guns. guns. Yes, yes, true. They forgot to go yeah. pick them up. And so then, the people yeah. saw them were like, well, they're not packing. I can see yeah. from them. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. When you go to a YCS in America and you're not living in America, make sure to take your gun. Yeah, it's important. Yes. Um, well, buy, buy a gun. Yes. If you ask, not that hard. If you <laughs> ask Ted Cruz, um, more important than children currently. So, you know. Do you reckon... I give a if fuck. you find a Republican, you can just ask for their gun. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and they're like, where are you from? Australia? Oh, you got yours taken away, man. No problem. No problem. I'll give you two guns. I'll give you, I'll give you two. One for each hand. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Anyway, um, back to the YCS. Uh, there were a couple of funny instances which I'd seen slash heard over the course of the day. Um, Pac made a misplay in his Predaplant branded list. Um, no misplay. Hmm? Not a misplay. <laughs> Illegal action. Illegal action. Oh, oh, I saw this, and Yahweh like had a very like hot take on it. But anyway, uh, uh, I, yeah. I don't know what it was. But... So basically, he used a Predaplant monster effect to summon uh, Guarding Chimera, but Guarding Chimera doesn't trigger. Yeah, it only triggers when summoned off a spell effect. Yep, sure. Um, but he treated it as if it did. So he summoned it off a Predaplant monster effect, and then went, and then used Chimera the effect. effect. Yep. And then his opponent went, yep, no problem. And then he did the thing. And then his opponent proceeded to immediately lose. Ooh. It seemed as though he would have won anyway. The general consensus is that he would have won anyway. But he did it. But still illegal. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I saw was uh, in one of the, I think it was uh, day one matches, I think in round eight or nine. Actually, it wouldn't have... Yeah. Round eight or nine. Um... So it was Despia branded versus uh, Agent Punk. Um, although I play uh, Despia, I was rooting for the Agent dude. Cool, um, fair court. Yeah, Good, look, he was doing well to you, make it you, that far. I, I, every time you watch a feature match, you're just rooting for not the meta. You're oh, like, yeah, 100%. oh, you're playing I want to see some something interesting. Wacko shit, sure. Go. Yeah, I want to see something interesting. Top. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the dude had a uh, the Agent Synchro, the level ten. Um, Let's just sure. call him Hyperion. Sure. And access code. Um, okay. And opponent had Chimera, had already triggered its effect, nothing else on board. Um, access code popped the uh, Chimera. And then he has the effect of Luba from Grave. Targets the thing, negates its uh, effects, and then reborns it when a fusion dies. Um, opponent who has the Luba goes, uh, effect of Luba, target master Hyperion. Uh, reads access code. I'm going to target access code. And the two commentators say, no, you can't do that. You've designated your target. Yeah. The dude who verse then says as well, not knowing what the commentator said, um, you targeted Master Hyperion. Dude proceeds to say, oh, well, if that's how you're going to get to top, I guess that's how it goes. Oh, oh right. yeah, this, this, yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, you're a dickhead. Pissed me off you're to su- no that's end. That's the most spiteful shit ever. It really is. You're such it a dickhead. It gets so much worse, though, because then another thing happened. Sorry, does, my, does Hyperion, like, do anything important? It was just, he didn't target down the... the he didn't target down the right one. died. Exactly. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, like, he wasn't going to die anyway. I just didn't know what the agent agent synchro thing does, so that's right. Oh, it literally doesn't matter. Sure. Um... But then in the next game, um, the agent dude was about to end his turn and he goes, um, set this card and uh, uh, activate this effect. And then dude goes to call him out on it and goes, well, you actually said, oh, and then he's like, no, no. And he's like, oh, well, I won't do you like you did me. And I'm like, <laughs> bro! <laughs> this was like, oh, what time would it have been? This... Yeah, because it was on day two. I, I spoke wrong before. It was on day two because I was, like, in bed. And I was like, bro, I'm about to fly there and punch your fucking do you, face Do you in. know what that is? If I'm the, the guy with access code, at that point, I'm just looking at judges. I'm just like, I'm just going to fucking so eye a judge. Surely like, on audio, you get, like, DQ'd for that. 
Like, it's just, it's unsportsmanlike conduct, which is completely up to a judge. It's completely up to a judge. However, pub, court of public opinion, you're a dickhead. That's also like... You fucked up. Cool. That, but listen, it literally stream. comes down to what Ben said just before. You're at a major, you fuck up. What are you going to do? Yes. And you're on stream, bro. What are you going to do, go... At locals, nah. they let me take it back. Nah. Oh, <laughs> he, he, at that point, he goes, oh, if that's how you want to get your top, go, ask a judge. There's three fucking standing here. That's the rules. Suck a dick. Yeah. Ask Jerome. He's watching us. <laughs> bro, ask <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, wait. Surely at that point, you go, Joe said I could do it, and just see if he can get in the <laughs> Surely, surely, right? You just go, you go, Oi. Oh, right, and that that moment, bro, so good. You win, you win. It's over, it's over. We gotta, Pack it up. We're gonna end this podcast. Pack it up. That will we, conclude we've us. Stre- we've stretched a 40 minute podcast <laughs> in an hour and a half. Yeah, we have. Don't that be concludes this for at tonight. YCSs. Yes. Or at don't all. steal people's shit. Yeah. Stop. Don't do that. And don't go places sick. Yeah. Um, but that will conclude us for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do have any questions for us, as I said, uh, link in the description for Discord, drop a comment on YouTube. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, find us on Spotify. Otherwise, we'll catch you next week. See you.